Hey everyone and welcome back to What Did I Miss, where today I'll be doing my last trailer breakdown for the third season of Discovery and looking ahead to the final episode of the season which is currently titled That Hope Is You Part 2. If you are new to the channel, my name is Eric and I review and break down sci-fi and comic book related media because I love it and I hope that you do too. Part 1 of the episode aired as the season 3 premiere which dealt with Michael arriving 930 years into the future and among other things meeting Book, a man she is now in love with. Also, this is going to be my first trailer video that I'm going to put a spoiler warning on because the trailer gives away a huge one so if you don't want me to break it down for you just stop watching after the trailer and then start up again for the sneak peek. I will put time codes in the description for you. But before we get into that I just want to say happy new year to everyone who celebrates it and I hope this next year is amazing for you, the ones you love and the ones that love you. I don't want to harp on all the difficult times of 2020 but would rather be thankful for a few good things that happened. One of which was starting this channel in August and after having set a goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of this year I'm very thankful and proud to say that on January 1st I'm sitting on 1500 subscribers that have made many new friends along the way. Thank you for helping make my 2020 a little bit better and I hope that in some way my silly videos did the same for you. Episode 12 really kicked the season back into high gear by creating a tense situation both on the Discovery and within Federation headquarters as Osira and the Emerald Chain make a daring move to absorb the Federation while holding the ship and the spore drive hostage. Over the course of the episode, Burnham was trying to take back the ship like it was Nakatomi Plaza on Christmas Eve, although the threat is not over and Dr. Culber, Sue, and Adira are still stranded on a radiation-laden planet. First, I will play the trailer and then discuss the scene shown while also going over the sneak peek scene for episode 13 as well. As always, please let me know in the comments what you think is going to happen as the season winds down. So let's say goodbye to 2020 with a smile and look ahead to 2021 and the season finale trailer for The Hope Is You Part 2. Let's take back this ship. Let's go. We're going to have to fight until our last breath. Federation is done for. You must take a leap of faith. It's okay to be afraid. I want the Federation obliterated. Whatever happens, we are together. Your friends will be dead within the hour. This is what's called a no-win situation. I don't believe in those. As I just mentioned, I'm going to drop a spoiler warning here for this episode because I'm pretty sure they gave away at least one big event in the trailer, possibly more. The first shots are meant to look like Book and Burnham are still trying to take back the Discovery, but I'm not sure that they are still on the Discovery. If you notice in the last episode, there is a tide. All the Discoveries displayed turn a shade of green after Osira and the Emerald Chain took control. In these two scenes, I don't see any green, all I see is blue. Except for this guy, who may either be unfinished CGI, or perhaps the Predator has joined Book and Burnham on their quest to defeat the Emerald Chain. Next, we see Burnham with a rifle and Zara on the other side of a force field. She may be trying to destroy the spore drive here and keep Zara from stopping her, and I believe this is the scene right before the last scene in the trailer that I'll discuss in a bit. Next we see Discovery shooting at and or getting shot at within Federation headquarters. The Discovery looks awfully close to what seems to be the power hub of the shielding. Earlier in the season we were told that the force field is sustained by the ships within it, but there are probably less ships than usual after Admiral Vance sent the fleet to Kaminar. Next we get a shot of Tilly and the crew presumably after the last shot of the prior episode, and they are still working with the Dot 20 three robots. In my video for that episode, which I will link here and in the description, I liken these robots to the alien robots from Batteries Not Included, a movie from 1987 about, well, alien robots. Mostly because the design of their heads are similar, and their eye colors match the yellow, red, and blue eyes that the robots from the movie had. I read online in other places that people think the colors match the colors of the different uniforms, but I don't remember their eyes having any color before that scene in last week's episode, so let me know in the comments what you think. These next two pictures, ugh, they break my heart, because while this is not the spoiler I'm directly referring to, I think that they show us that Admiral Vance may be a one season and done recurring character. This first picture I think is the main ship of the Federation. As you can see it is tilted and starting to explode like it is being destroyed. Everyone is running for safety except this one figure that seems to be calm and perhaps in a going down with the ship pose. As this pose matches the next shot of Admiral Vance staring out at what looks like the Viridian Osiris ship breaking through the shield barrier. I'm guessing that the still commandeered Discovery will take out enough ships to allow Osiris ship to break through the barrier and then destroy Federation headquarters. This would of course mean the end of Admiral Vance and I really hope I am wrong but I don't think I am. The next picture is back at the Dilithium planet and it looks like the pillars of the building are reacting to something, perhaps Adira entering the simulation. I say that because the next shot we see Grey as a Vulcan, which at first doesn't make sense but then remember that each crew member was a different species when they arrived in the simulation. I think that perhaps the avatar created for Adira is Grey because of the strong connection that they have, and having Grey be a Vulcan means that the species of the avatar is just randomly selected, like creating a character in a video game. 
We do see Adira as Adira in the next shot, but I think that is later on in the episode. The next shot is Dr. Colber looking like Freddy Krueger thanks to a healthy dose of radiation. This may be before Adira arrives with the medication to help them, as I believe this shot is from the sneak peek as well. This shot looks like a Cyrus ship breaking through the shield barrier from their point of view, and if you notice that light in the middle is looking a lot smaller than it did earlier, which means that it is much weaker. Next we see a face-off between Osira and Burnham, which looks to be one of those famous duels that we are so used to seeing on Star Trek. This next picture starts the spoiler, because it is obviously the Viridian enveloping the Discovery, perhaps after they have destroyed Federation headquarters. This picture looks like the crew on the planet, but notice that they look like they should, meaning the simulation has ended. This picture, though, is the big spoiler, because if you take in everything else from the trailer, this to me looks like a Cyrus ship exploding from within, caused by the destruction of the USS Discovery A. So this ties back to the batteries not included reference as well with the Dot 23 robots that have the consciousness of Zora, the Sphere Data AI. In that movie from 1987, a bunch of elderly people were being run out of an apartment building but would not leave. But the building got destroyed anyways. The alien robots rebuilt the building as it should look and everyone lived happily ever after. I think that Zora will allow the Discovery to self-destruct within the belly of the beast and destroy the Viridian, but that the Dot 23 robots will survive and be able to rebuild the Discovery as she looked before and in the short Trek Calypso. Not that the next picture, but the one after shows Burnham talking to what looks like the beginnings of a human face, which is no doubt the beginning of the Sphere Data's evolution to the entity we see in that short trek that refers to themselves as Zora. Let me know in the comments, do you think this is right on or not? And if it turns out I'm right, I really think you owe this video a like. The picture I skipped over is the bridge crew running away from something, and it looks like they do that thing people always do when they're being chased in movies and fall down. Next we see David Ayala trying out for the reboot of Total Recall. Obviously I'm joking, this is the Emerald Chain using a similar device that they use on Stamets on book, but I do get strong Douglas Quaid vibes from the shot. We then get a shot of Zara possibly taunting Burnham after they capture her. We then see the bridge crew knocked out, and I see blue on the screens, not green, so perhaps this is off the ship. The next shot is of Tilly, and you can see the console behind her is still green. We then get Burnham giving her rendition of the I don't like the no situation line that Captain Kirk made famous in The Wrath of Khan. Finally, we get a shot of Burnham and Osira trying to shoot at each other with some type of raver dancing in between them, and finally a shot of the Discovery being fired on, which I'm guessing is right before she gets taken in by the Viridian. The trailer really does give a lot away in my opinion, which is ironic, because we really don't get any new details from the sneak peek. Once again, I cannot play the sneak peek because of copyright laws, but it's mostly just a discussion between Dr. Culber and Saru on the radiation planet. Both look pretty bad, and hopefully once Adira gets there, they are able to heal up a bit. One of the most powerful parts of the last episode was the immense pain that Stamus expressed after learning that not only was his lover stranded on this planet, but also his adopted child. It starts off with Dr. Culver being shown a simulation of a Gormagander, which was the creature that Harry Mudd hinted before his appearance on the first season episode, Magic to Make the Sanest Man Go Mad. It seems that the burst of energy that Sukal created in the episode, named after him, caused a breach in the hull of the ship, and more radiation than ever before is leaking in. Saru is still trying to make a breakthrough with Sukal, but he's not making any progress. Dr. Culver tries to instill still a greater sense of urgency in Saru, but he seems to be partially unwilling as the scene ends. Well, that was everything I saw, but let me know in the comments if you have any other theories. I'll be putting out my episode breakdown next week, so be sure to hit that subscribe bell so that YouTube lets you know when it comes out. Thank you for joining me. I will see you next time on What Did I Miss?